Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Ooh wee, we have a treat today. Mmm, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights from the Petrus Brasserie, we have the Aged Pale. Checks in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. Don't ask me to pronounce the city in Belgium. We're just going to say it's from Belgium. Yeah! <laughs> now there's a date on the back of this I can't quite decipher, but I'm not worried about it because this is bottle condition. Now, this is the international unit, so this is 330 milliliter, which translates to 11.2 ounces here in America. And we do have a bottle cap, yay! So I get another bottle cap for my fridge. I'm telling you, it's tough to collect bottle caps for the fridge these days. Bottle condition beer, you got to open it slowly, baby, because that pressure will build up and you have a bloody mess. By the way, you never want to pour this beer straight into your glass because you'll have more foam than you know what to do with. And I suggest using a goblet. That way you can pour it down the side and let the beer expand a little bit. Yeah, straighten her out. Take your time, baby. Take your time. Now, if you don't want that yeast, you can hold out that last little bit. That yeast won't hurt you, but if you don't want it, you don't have to drink it. It's a very lovely, ooh, I'm going to call that a, uh, mm, a golden orange color. Yeah, it's a little bit orangey in there. Now, it's made a very small amount of foam, and I did that on purpose. If you want, and you can have all the foam you want. Yeah. Oh, man, this has got some fruits in it. Now, this is billed as a sour. So you have to be ready for that, no doubt about it. It's got that wild yeast in there and some fruits, boy, I tell you. Well, it smells quite lovely. I think this is going to be very good indeed. Yeah, I want to thank the brewers there in Belgium. They always do a knockout job on their beers, don't they? Ah, uh, yeah. This has got a little bit of chill haze on it. Now, I let the beer sit out. It's been about 15 minutes. I don't know why it has. I don't know why it's still a little bit cold. That's strange. But hey, thanks to the brewers there in Belgium, and cheers to everybody at home. No doubt. Ooh man, that'll make your mouth pucker up, baby. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, lovely fruits in there. It's like a. Um, I would say like a green apple. If you've ever lived in a place where you've had uh, green apples grow on trees and, and you bit into them or, or your mom or your grandmother made a pie and you said, ooh, that's a little bit sour. That's kind of what this is like. But it's not off-putting. It's not off-putting at all. You got those wild yeasts in there. Oh, man. Ooh, that tastes, hmm, that is good. Ooh, man. Very spicy. A little, a little bit of spice in there. A little bit of uh, white peppery spice in there as well. This would be a good aperitif. That is a beer that you would consume before your meal. This is going to wet your whistle for sure. Look at that lacing there. Of course, the uh, glassware has a lot to do with the lacing. If your glassware is filthy dirty, you won't have any lacing. But if your glassware is clean and the beer is decent, you'll have plenty of lacing. That's how that works, my friends. No doubt. Mm. Man, that, that is just lingering on my palate in a good way. Oh, man, that spice in there is so good. This is definitely a sipping beer for me. Now, anybody who gets on a YouTube channel and, and drinks this straight away, just doesn't have a great appreciation of fine beer. 
And yeah, of course, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Uh, now, if you want to drink malt liquor like that, that's, yeah, that's perfectly up to you. But a fine beer like this has to be taken in moderation. You take your time, you appreciate it. It's like a good woman. You have to appreciate a good woman, right? Same thing with the beer. Appreciate a good beer. Cheers to that. Uh, you want to smell this beer before you drink it. You want to take in that aroma and maybe swirl it around a little bit. I had to put it away from the electronics, though. You don't want to get it close to electronics, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Jonathan, I know you're watching out there, brother. You ever had this? Green apples and white pepper. Sour and spicy. Oh, it's bloody good. And remember, it's 7.3 percent. Yeah, no doubt. Now, uh, Petrus makes one that's 12 and a half percent. It's a red. Oh, it's killer too. Mm. That's aged in. Um, I want to say it's aged in oak barrels, as this one is. This is aged. Get a little bit of that uh, oak in there, a little bit of woodiness. Man, this is a fine beer, I tell you. If you haven't had this beer, you should try it. You owe it to yourself to try a few Belgian beers in your life. Once you go to Belgian beers, you may not want to drink anything else. <laughs> That's a whole nother, that's a rant and rave with Dr. Dave, baby. <laughs> All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. This is a medium carbonation beer, and I would say it's a medium mouthfeel. But that sourness and that spiciness act in unison to get you in there, baby. Oh, once you're hooked on this beer, there's no going back. Cheers to that. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each 
once a month, and there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.